So first of all, let's talk about four-part chords. And the name of that technique is the drop two technique. What does it mean? It means that you can take the second note from the top of the closed position voicing and drop it down an octave. That's basically what it means. So since we have three different positions, three different posi configurations, with the seventh on top, with the scale degree three in the soprano and scale degree five in the soprano, we can open the sound of each closed position voicing to create open position voicing. So take the second note from the top, G, drop it down an octave. Note that the root of the chord is not affected by the drop two technique. So in all cases, you're going to uh, retain uh, the root position chords you know, using drop two technique. So take the second note, drop it down an octave. In this position, the third, take the second note, B, drop it down an octave. You have different four part configuration. And finally, uh, with the fifth on top, take the third, drop it down an octave, and you have three nice open configurations of four-part chords. All right, so let me uh, move to the piano and show you what, 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 how does it sound. So first of all, close position voicings. C major seven, root position with the seven on top. Right? Now, first position with the third on top and the second position with the fifth on top. Okay? So I'm basically uh, rotating the content of the right hand. Now, drop two technique. You have the close position voicing with the seven on top. Take the second note, drop it down an octave. And that's your chorale style. Notice that the distribution of voices in chorale style is different. Two plus two. So it's more equitable. Two voices in the right, right hand and two voices in the left hand. But listen to the sound of the closed position voicing and the sound of the open position voicing in drop two. You see, it's more open because there's more space between each uh, adjacent notes. Now, first position voicing, closed position, close posi open position using drop two. You see how nice it sounds, very open, very transparent. And finally, the third position, close voicing, open voicing. You see, so we have three different configurations. Open voicing, root position, open voicing, first position, and open voicing, second position. So they sound a little bit more open, more transparent. Now, uh, we can realize our 2-5-1 progression in both styles, and I would recommend that you actually practice both styles. And the materials that I prepared for the course, I realized that progression using different configurations, but uh, for the time being, I would like to focus just on one uh, to show you how you can uh, transform keyboard style realization into a chorale style realization. All right, so here is our 2-5-1 progression. 2-5-1 in C major. We start with the 7 in the soprano. The 7 goes down to the 3rd. The 3rd of D minor stays the same, becomes the 7. The 7th resolves down. So the voice reading is correct, right? Notice that the A goes down to the G. So in this particular case, there is no pitch D in the, co in the voicing for G7. That's perfectly fine. So you might remember from previous session, I told you that the fifth of the chord is the kind of redundant pitch, is the least desirable. You can omit it, but still maintain the sound, the quality of the chord. So we don't, in this particular case, we don't uh, jeopardize with the voice reading just to make G7 complete. So we move down to G stepwise and then resolve down to a full, uh, full chord on C major 7. Right? So here is a close position, close position keyboard style realization with three voices in the right hand and one voice in the left hand. Now, using the drop to technique, we basically are opening up the sound of each chord here. So the D minor becomes this. 
So we take the A, drop it down an octave. You know, so you have two voices in the left hand and two voices in the right hand. Take the G, second note from the closed position voicing, drop it down an octave to G here. And take the second note G, drop it down here. Right. So um, that's the sound of, of, this, of this progression to keyboard style. Choral style, 